Welcome to Let's Play Sims 3 Showtime Part 1. Uh, this video is probably going to be long. You know what? You can probably already tell it's long because you can see the time in the little corner of the icon that first pops up. <laughs> but, yeah, I just wanted to show you the loading screen. And it's not all that great. It kind of sucks. You'll see it in a second. Do oh, you see the spotlight? So, yeah, it's nothing special. I actually like, if anything, I like generations. Even master suite stuff I kind of got tired of seeing the master suite I don't even remember what the ambitions one or the world adventures one looks like anymore because I've I've had I have all the expansion packs and uh, stuff packs but like it's just I haven't I don't know I haven't played with just said ambitions or world adventures I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> trying to escape the invisible box oh so guess what they added? They added freaking genies and a mechanical bull. You can see it says feeding the mechanical bull. Um, you can see the little lamp right here for the genies. And I swear I think they had it in like Sims 2 or something. Like I can really, I remember genie or I don't know, maybe I had a dream about it a while ago. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's like a timesheet for gigs or something. Mm, I don't know. Can you be a stand-up comedian? <laughs> or is that... No, because this is the singer one. Yeah, so there's a singer career. The only thing is that they don't even have singing as a skill, I don't think, which sucks. What are they trying to say? You don't have to have skill to sing. Uh, if you want to sound good, you have to have a skill. Anyway, what's appeasing? Practicing air guitar. Hmm. Alright, so I'm going to read you the... Oh, loud song. Unfortunately, a really loud, long song started playing, so I have to use these screenshots in order to read you the thing. So, this is Starlight Shores, a new town that came with uh, Showtime, and it says, Founded by monks over 300 years ago, the city known today as Starlight Shores has always attracted Sims on a mission. Aspiring singers, musicians, and other performers make pilgrimages here looking for their big breaks and with its beautiful coastal setting, unique local culture, and <laughs> eclectic array of entertainment venues. Performances, competitions, and concerts, the city draws large crowds large crowds from all corners of the world. Many famous careers have been launched here and new stars are being discovered every day. Who will be next who will be the next unknown sim with the talent, passion, and determination to take them from rags to riches and make their dreams come true. <laughs> Sorry, I got stuck right there. I got confused of when it stopped. So let's get into the game and I will show you the cute little animation, the loading screen, and then the little animation for the town. Okay, green line. You're so close. You're so close. Come on. Be sure to check out the dance clubs. Oh, I will be editing this town, so I will put in the pet shop and a venue, I think. Yeah, a big venue. Even though this town comes with one, but if you get the limited edition stuff, it comes with a new venue. And it wasn't working, actually, earlier. Like, it wasn't showing all the stuff that's supposed to come with it. So, I'm not sure if it's going to show up and work for this game. I hope it is, because... I mean, I downloaded it correctly. I deleted most of my mods. Because I thought that was a problem, but I don't know. And I do have the Katy Perry stuff. I do, and I'll show you that in a sec. Oh, look at the town. Ah, oh, is it going to load all the buildings? Yay! Oh. <laughs> right as I say that, two buildings. How cool is this town? It's so small. I love it. It's like a good thing that there's not a lot of uh, houses. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. Because that way, there's not a lot of people to bug your sims. And then it's like, oh, your sim has 50 friends. And then later on, they become enemies because you have to keep up your friendship. And it's ridiculous. 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 Sorry, that's short for ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So here's the venue that that came with the game, but I really I don't know if I want it yet. Sorry, I blew in the mic. Let's change this to a big venue. Big show venue. I kind of had to scroll down. I don't know if it's like that for everyone, but my screen isn't like super huge. My computer screen, so that's what it adjusts itself to oh no see when it shows up like that that means it's not going to work 
Ah. Uh, oh no, I'm sad. All right, well, I guess I have to download them again. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this came with. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to do something about that later. But anyway, let's create some sims, shall we? We shall. This video is going to be long. I already know it. So we will start off with the lovely Katy Perry impersonator. <laughs> her name is Katy Perry. Like her cat. Oh, I didn't change it yet. Katy Perry. And um, I'm not sure if I said this in the other video yesterday, but I gotta make her boobs smaller because they're too big for everything. Um, somebody did make this sim and I just downloaded her and her facial features kind of got messed up because they had facial sliders like you know how you can make the eyes the distance and make her jaw big I don't know whatever I didn't have all of them so it kind of snapped it back and I had to edit her so she's not exactly like Katy Perry but she is wearing the hair that came with the Katy Perry um, store content like you put in your coupon code and then you can download the Katy Perry stuff so this is the hair and I forgot what it was called it was like cotton candy curls or something like that it's so pretty it's so pretty I love it I love that it's like poofy at the bottom I just love it and of course I dyed it blue because she had blue hair for a while and it kind of if I made it pink like in the be like the front of the cover it would clash with the dress so I didn't so let's look I mean the romper type thing. Let's look at it in different colors. I love it in every color. Oh, damn it. A loud song. Hold on. Alright. Now that that stupid song's over, I'm going to show you the rest of the hairs that came with Showtime. So, here is the first one. It's just long and straight. And it's a little voluminous. Verily. I mean, barely. Verily. <laughs> That's not even a word. I just made up my own word. Yay. Ooh, that's pretty. Pink. I love this pink color. I try to match it to the front of the of the game. Oh, have you seen the front cover? Just go to your like local Target or Walmart or something and they should have The Sims 3 Showtime there. The Katy Perry edition. It is so pretty. It's like sparkly and it's amazing. And I love it. So here is this other delicious hairstyle in different colors. It's pretty cute. Um, not my favorite, but it's pretty cute. Here is a super big poofy one, and I love it, except for the back part. The back part's okay, you'll see it in a second. <laughs> see how big it is. But it's so pretty. It's like wavy, like it's like messy, teased, freaking hair. I don't even know how to explain it. And uh, yeah, I would totally use this hair. But seriously, the Katy Perry one is definitely my favorite hair by far, made by The Sims 3 store. No joke. This one. I love this one, but the thing is that they like kind of, uh, they were just, they didn't, I don't know, I like I would never wear my hair like that where you can see the inside of it, the other side of my hair. I would pin it back so that it's touching the bottom or I would just not have it that high. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I mean it's a very cute hairstyle though. I love the idea of it. It has, it has potential. So here's different colors. It's pretty cute. Like, I would still use it, but I'm just saying. I'm just being a big meanie and pointing out the, <laughs> the mistake. <laughs> Here, they brought back side ponytails. <laughs> Don't you just love it? The bangs. I love how it's like, oh, I just love everything. Yeah, I'm saying love and too much, a little bit too much. Different colors. I figure you might want not want to sit through all the stuff. And that's it for The Sims 3 Showtime. You can tell they have the little blue, um, you know, border or uh, background on the plum bob. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Now for the hats, it's pretty much the same hat for all of them, just with different hairstyles. I mean, not all of them, but like there's this hat with four different hairstyles I think one two three four five five different hairstyles it's okay nothing special here is this awesome one that I really like it's just a cute little tiny top hat good for a magician's assistant or something or maybe a girl magician I like it I'm not gonna show you it in all the hairstyles because that's just dumb <laughs> I don't know I don't have to do that 
And the thing with these is you can't, I can't see the whole thing, but it's just a top hat, magician one, ace of plum bobs, and nope, that last but not least. I was gonna say last but not least. Here we have this super cute little acrobat type of hairstyle. I love it. It's so adorable. I do love it. Oh my gosh. I do keep saying I love it too much. Stop that. Whoa. That's cool. Ooh, that's cool. Ooh. And we have this like Tron Daft Punk inspired helmet. It's pretty funny. There's a lot of Tron stuff, inspired stuff, I mean. And oh, the bunny ears. Which you can't see all of, except if you look in the mirror. And even then it gets cut off. But it looks so cool. Like, look at it. It looks so... Um, what's the word? Like, real. It looks like a real costume. And I believe that's it. Do, 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 do. I put my... I got rid of, like, a lot of mods. Like, my hat hider mod. So that's why you can see all my hats now. Which is annoying, but it's alright. Um, yeah, that's all. So, I'm going to change it back to the hairstyle, and then I'll get into... Well, actually, I'll show you the makeup thing now. Like, uh, hold on, just let me change the hair. Uh, I was going to skip through it, but it loaded fast enough. So, for makeup, you can actually set it to different outfits so like this outfit has this makeup but if I wanted to unlock you know it's a, it's exactly the same idea as for hair you can have different hairstyles for different outfits it's if you unlock it then this makeup will be for this outfit and whatever else one you want to choose or whatever I don't know how to explain it you I think you understand what I mean <laughs> so I'm not going to change her makeup there is no new makeup but there is new face paint it's pretty cool I love it the mime one yeah, I love it. I don't know. <laughs> this is like Lady Gaga inspired. And there are new tattoos, but nobody really uses tattoos. I mean, I do sometimes. Mm, like the girl that I'm going to use for this game has tattoos. Here is... Let's put it in the lower back. Here is a deck of cards. These like hibiscus flowers. I don't know. Is that what they're called? I don't know. Um, sundial type of thing. <laughs> it almost looks like a Death Star with a bunch of different, whatchamacallits. Darn it. If I get into it, to zoom in, well, you can see what they are. The DJ booth, the, the ball, the eight ball from Billiards Pool, whatever. Billiards. What is it? Billiards. I don't know. So let's take that off. Even though she does have tattoos, I don't feel like putting tattoos on her. I'm going to change her hair really quick and get into clothing just so you can see the earrings. So for the earrings we have three new pairs I believe. They're these super expensive diamond shaped earrings or plum bob shaped earrings actually and they come in three different shades but of course you could change it. Those are just the presets and I really like those ones. They totally don't look good but <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say that they did, but they don't. Here are these teardrop shaped ones. They look even more expensive than the freaking other ones. And then finally, they added little mini hoops to the game. Gosh, it's been so long. They should have just added those in the first place. Let me change it back to the other earrings before it drives me insane. And we have some necklaces. Start with this expensive one. Jeez, look at that thing blue and gold and uh, oh I don't know where to go where to go and we have this one that kind of goes with the teardrop ones so it's pretty simple but I really like it here is a bracelet and I don't know why they go to that arm you can see it. I'll zoom in like that and this preset and this one which is my favorite that's if anything if I were to wear one of those that's one that I would choose to wear and then we have these <laughs> weird ones. I don't know. I wouldn't wear that, but it looks pretty cool like that. Um, let's see. There's also a pair of gloves. Yep. Here they are. And they're pretty cool too. Ooh, I like the little buttons. Are those buttons? Yeah, those are buttons. That's cute. 
And that's about it. Let's get into clothing. So for shirts, we have this really cute, simple tank top with this necklace. And I forgot to take off that necklace. Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay, as I was saying, it's layered. It has a little, a little tank top underneath that tank top. And it's kind of folded right there. And it's very cute, very simple with that little braided necklace. Or actually, it's kind of like a knotted necklace. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I like it. And my favorite shirt. This is my favorite color, favorite preset that it comes in. How gorgeous is this shirt? It's so simple, but it's so pretty. I love the Sims 3 stuff. Like, they make some good clothes. Unlike other people, they don't put a lot of detail into their clothes. Like, the texture of the clothes. But the Sims 3 store does. And then we have this halter top. I totally used to have a halter top in this color when I was, like, super skinny and 12. <laughs> I know, it's horrible. Except it wasn't like this. It was way different. It covered a lot more. And here's a pink one and a yellow one. And here is this simple blazer with the... It looks like a strapless shirt underneath. I'm glad they didn't make it cropped like a bunch of other jackets that they have. Or at least I think that they do that with some of the jackets. Oh, it kind of matches with the pants. These are the pants, but I will get into that in a second. And here is a top that's almost exactly like the late night top, uh, which is right here. Where is it? Right here. Except that, you know, it has a graphic on it, a little graphic. Here's a unicorn with a rainbow. <laughs> and this Daft Punk inspired one. It has like a little sparrow behind it. I mean, on the back. It's pretty cool. I mean, a uh, Tron inspired, whatever. It's a blue one. And this one that reminds me of freaking like honeycombs or something. And here is the um, comedy and tragedy shirt, I believe is what it is. Some people say laugh now, cry later. But that that's what, um, that's not what it is. <laughs> That's just what people interpreted it into. I don't know. I can't even think of the word. There are no Katy Perry tops or sh pants, shorts, pants, whatever, uh, as far as I know. But there are outfits, and I will get into the outfits. Well, there's also outfits for uh, Showtime. Here are the other pair of pants. It looks like the pockets are inside out. You know, when you wash your pants and your pockets hanging out and you got to put it back in it looks like she left it out <laughs> and there's a bow on it different colors and here are the pants that were on her before just like leather leggings be a pain in the ass to get them off i mean if it was a real person and let's get into outfits here is this adorable short little summer dress with the cute little gold necklace on it flower necklace and it looks like scales and it kind of looks like this is like chiffon underneath it's so pretty see what i mean about the detail about the bow sticking out a lot of people that create clothes for the sims 3 don't do that and i just that's why i love sims 3 store content because when they make good clothes they really make good clothes like no joke and oh they have this new african themed clothing set I'm dying to go and buy that. I really want it. It's the best set I've seen this year. It's amazing. Here's another one. It looks like stars are on it. Like it's glowing. She's just sparkling. Cute summer dress. I would totally wear that. Totally wear that. No joke. Except I wouldn't wear that shirt. I mean it's covering her cleavage obviously. I mean it's high up enough to show like maybe a tiny little bit of it. But wearing that shirt just kind of ruins it. I don't know to me. Ooh, she looks good in this dress. It reminds me of sea life. Because <laughs> this is like shells and that's like a freaking angler fish or something. I don't know. Anemones. I don't think anemones have circle things at the end of their, you know. You know what I'm talking about. And this one, probably one of my favorites. It looks like it's feathers almost if you just glance at it, but it's like gathered fabric. It's gorgeous. I love it in red, or whatever this color is, like maroony. And this reminds me of something, and I can't put my finger on it. Like, she's a warrior in battle in the olden days, except um, in a comedy, because they've shortened the dress super short. <laughs> I don't know. That's my favorite preset. That's so pretty. And then we have another short dress. And I love... 
the elbow length sleeves. What is it called? Mid length? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> but it's pretty nonetheless. Here's it in pink. Oh, she looks good with that one. And green. And the, whoa, what was that? Hold on. Sorry, something just made a noise and it like totally scared me. I thought somebody was going to break into my house. I don't know. Even though it's 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Here is a maxi dress with, what is that, buttons? Oh, it's a zipper. And this is my favorite preset, although I don't really like the dress. I mean, it, it's cool, you know, but I wouldn't wear it in real life. Um, it's just, I don't know, this part right here, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's okay. And here is another outfit with leggings and a tank top. Mm, I don't know, it's not my favorite, but it's, it's cute. Has this adorable little top with the leggings, you know, you, you can see. And another Tron inspired outfit. Very short, very girly like. I have not seen the movie, but I know. I know, man. A romper. It's really. Ah, uh, it's so adorable. It has a zipper in the back, I think. I don't even know. It's probably stretchy fabric. I'm saying all this as if it's in real life. Ooh, totally matches. And this is not my favorite at all. The shorts. I love the top, but I hate the shorts. They're so ugly. I don't know. It's like she tried to de destroy them herself and she kind of failed. Like she's been walking around on a beach for a long time and she found a new top and she threw that on. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I really do like the top. And last but not least, the bunny suit. And that's all that came with Showtime. Yep. So let's get into the Katy Perry clothes. I almost said Perry Katie or Katy Carey. And here you've seen this before. This is the one that I have been wearing, or she's been wearing. Sorry. It's so adorable. I love the little gathered fabric right here. I don't know. What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> it's like bunched up. Uh, and then there's this one. Ah. <gasps> It's amazing. It's totally Katy Perry inspired. Totally. It's like the best freaking outfit in the world, I swear. The shame, I mean, it's a shame because it doesn't come in formal wear, I don't think. And uh, it's so sad because I totally would have made it for formal wear. But if you have the singer profession, you can choose outfits for your career. And you can choose this as the outfit that you use when you go sing and stuff. So definitely going to do that. It's awesome. I love this dress. This little outfit. It's the best thing that they've made by far. This whole Katy Perry collection is just to die for. Sims Showtime stuff, meh, you know. It's got a few cool outfits and then that one top that I really like. And I do like that they put designs on that shirt, but I don't know. It's okay. Here are some boots, nothing special. With buttons, these uh, weird heels. I don't know, they're just weird. <laughs> they're short, I'm guessing, so that it's easy to perform in. They're being realistic. <laughs> and a couple more. These boots that she's wearing on the cover of the, or the sim that's supposed to look like her, is wearing on the cover of the game. It's just one, the same color. This color silver. So that's cool. Doesn't really match, but you know. There's also a a dress on the game and I swear it's from Sims 2 I don't know maybe I'm wrong but I'm guessing it's from the career from the I love these shoes this color like when you unlock a career outfit when you get a promotion and you have a certain outfit for that career that's what I'm guessing happens when you advance in the singer career it's the only way I can put it and here are the ones that came with the Katy Perry collection and it looks like little gold nuggets stashed right here. It's so cute. Like a leprechaun's going to come and steal them. And that's all we have for every day. Let's get into formal. There's only one outfit though. And it's right here. And I'll show you when it loads. <laughs> so here we have this really simple dress. I paired her with this dress. I don't know why her hair changed. That kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah. It's very cute and 
tight as hell and short on the, you know, just below the knees. Whoa. Whoa. What's that about? <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of creepy. Here's it in blue and uh, it's a brownish color. And what the hell happened? What's up with that? I don't know, but it's like kind of, it reminds me, oh, X-Men Wolverine. Freaking Ryan Reynolds. I forgot Deadpool or something like that. Um, ugh, that's kind of weird. Sleepwear, there's nothing for sleepwear. Nothing for athletic. There's one swimwear outfit. Just one. <laughs> so here it is. It's alright, you know. It's not the best thing I've seen. I'm glad that they, th that they came out with a new swimwear outfit, though. I like this piece in the back. It's cute. Makes their butt look big. But I'm just kind of disappointed with this area. It looks curvy. It looks funny. It just kind of makes it... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And also, the thing is, when you go to make it one solid color, if you ever wanted to, the top actually has to be a little bit darker than the bottom because if you have it the same color... They're like different fabrics or something so that they don't, they don't really go together, but yeah. I just wanted to show you that in case you wanted to do that. I'm warning you. I don't know. <laughs> if anything, I kind of like this preset or this one because it's bright and like loud. It's very loud. You know, I'm, I'll just put her with that one. And I'm going to edit her hair with the outfits and then I'll show you her outfits when I'm done with them. Here is her everyday, which you've already seen. She's wearing all her Katy Perry stuff, except for this little bracelet cuff thingy majiggy, this bulky, chunky bracelet. <laughs> Something happened to the hair that I put on her previously when I saved her, which you can do by doing that, save sim to bin. And uh, yeah, it got messed up. I got thrown away, I guess, or something. So I'm just going to pair her with this hair and this cute little outfit. It's okay, you know, the outfit, the shoes, the big-ass bracelet that came with Showtime. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. This is our sleep wear. Oh, I don't know what I was about to say. So I was about to say something. And it's just a Master Suite clothing, which you can see it came with a lot of clothing. It's just the last one in the set. It's simple, it's cute, it's see-through, because you can see your underwear through the bottom. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Wow. Then we have Athletic, which isn't my favorite. I, there's no, like, plain tight leggings that are, like, ridiculously skin tight without the zipper. Which, you know, I think she wears, like, a, a sweater or a tank top like this with leggings when she works out. I've seen pictures of her, I don't know. So, it's the closest I can get. That's her Athletic wear. And her swimwear you have already seen. Snark. It's like this. And I chose this hairstyle, which is from the Sims 3 store, and it's so pretty. So let's look at personality traits that have come with the game. And we have, let's just get rid of all these. We have, you've already seen one of them. Um, mama, mama, a diva. <laughs> It says, Diva Sims are amazing, and don't you forget it. When they are good, they're great, and when they're bad, they're better. And I love the little icon for it. That's so pretty. So there's that one, and then we have, I think there's only like three or four. Natural Born Performer. Fish come in! <laughs> it's so cute. And it says, Natural, <laughs> look at the little icon. Natural Born Performer Sims are most comfortable on stage and never happier when they are in front of an audience. It's so true for her. And let's see, what else is there? Social Butterfly. Masu. Asuka Book. <laughs> it was a little delayed. Uh, social butterfly sims aren't happy unless they're socializing and will do just about anything to be the center of attention. And that's it. So I'm going to give her... What did I have at first? I don't even remember. I think I had her as... Friendly. Friendly. A cat person. And ambitious. Yeah. Ambitious. Where is it? Am I missing something? Where's the cat person Zippo one? Thong wick. Oh, thong. What the hell? Uh -huh, 
And we have a new career. Vocal legend reached level 10 of the singer career. Everyone dreams of being the next idol, of being worshipped by millions of sims across the world, but can you work through the years of stress and obscurity to reach the heights of superstardom? Maybe. Let's see the other lifetime wishes. So, sorry, I'm blocking my, my mouth. I'm scratching my eye. Uh... Um, I'm probably going to miss something. Oh, that's a lot. Blah, blah, blah. Tumbling and jumping headfirst into acrobats, acrobatics, hoping to leap with faith while ending and sold out performances with crowds of adoring fans. Stretching, bending, treating, burns. Ooh, great strength of body. So that means athletic level 10. And then... There's obviously a magician one, and I'm probably going to miss it. I feel like I'm missing so much stuff already. Okay, no. Fairy tale, no. Oh, I guess I missed it. Oh, no. Yeah, I did miss it. <laughs> Master magician. Oh, I was right under it. What an idiot. Worldly magic and illusion seems exotic and mysterious to most sims. To make it as a magician, your sim must master tricks ranging from making small objects appear to blah 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 death traps. <laughs> it would be dangerous, but success will surely lead to fame and glory as a world renowned illusionist. So, that's pretty cool. Of course, she's going to be a vocal legend. And we have favorite foods, which are just vegetarian. So, is this new? Fried peanut butter and banana sandwich. That's like Elvis's favorite, isn't it? Uh, tofu dog, vegetarian fish and chips, spaghetti with veggie sauce, veggie rolls, a veggie, or I mean cheese to tofu steak, <laughs> veggie burger, tri-tip tofu steak, <laughs> oh my god, vegetarian grilled salmon, vegetarian lobster thermor, thermidor, oh my god, wow, uh, vegetarian dim sum, so, I don't know, I just gave her hamburgers, I don't know. See, this, I don't know if any of these are new. Country, I feel like I've seen R&B. Songwriter, no. I thought, hmm, soul? I don't know if there's, if any of these are new, but, yeah, I don't know. I just chose indie. No new colors, which is, you know, meh. Nagi Booth Kaniya. That's what her voice is going to be. I don't know when her birthday is, but she's Sagittarius. So I'm going to get into making another sim and I won't have you sit through it. I'll just show her what she looks like when you're, or show you what she looks like when I'm done with her. <laughs>